What's going on, guys? Um, yeah. What's going on, guys? Pixelated here, back at it again with another video. Today, we're doing a little bit of an unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. I know I haven't been uploading lately. I've been really sick and got a lot of commitments. <coughs> And to be honest, I haven't really been buying too many sneakers. At the same time, I don't want this channel to be just about the sneakers that I buy. You see all these boxes. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the video of me unboxing these. I posted it in my story, but if you haven't, I'll show it to you right now. If you want to see more content like that, please go follow my Instagram. It is at Illumahan1, so at I-L-L-U-M-I-H-A-N-1. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. You go check it out. If you like photography, you like sneakers, this is definitely a dope page to check out. And if you want to see cool videos beforehand, like me unboxing those sneakers in my story, that's the place to go. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So let's talk about what I wanted to talk about first. It is the Supreme of Tempos. Nike X Supreme collab. Now I've already done an on foot review of these. It's already uploaded. If you want to go check it out, Supreme Hype Beast Nike collab pickup. That's not the title, but I mean, it might as well be. Here's the box. I never got to show you guys the box. It's a really nice box. It's got Nike on the front. It's got Supreme little Supreme box logos on the side as per usual. Well, it's not usually on the side, is it? It might be. Anyways, and here's the name tag. A little air more up tempo. Nine and a half, cause you know it fits a little half a size too big. I'm a size 10 true to size. You, well, if you watch the video, you already know. Size 10 true to size, nine and a half fits perfectly. Got the little tissue paper, Nike and Supreme branding on it. Cute little slot out box, you know, to impress the chicas. We did have some text at the bottom, but who really cares? And here are the shoes. Up, B. It's kind of weird that I'm showing you an unboxing after the review, but I've already reviewed these. You already know I think this is a phenomenal shoe. I'm a huge fan of the up-tempo silhouette. Totally not what you expect to see in modern times from like a regular consumer, just because obviously Ultra Boost and NMD and all those sleek runner silhouettes are more in style, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I like bulky shoes, I like high tops, which are both styles that are not trending at the moment. At the same time, I do prefer when it says air on the shoe instead, but the execution on this colorway is just so dope. I think I'm probably gonna keep these. My first thoughts were to sell these and get the gym reds. And although I'm not a big fan of Supreme branding on stuff that I wear, like to be honest, I'm indifferent to it. I'm not huge on showing people that I wear Supreme if I do or when I do, but this is kind of cool. You know, it says sub on one side of the shoe. So it's like if I'm going up to a friend or something, instead of saying hi, or instead of actually greeting them, I just go up to my friend, be like sub and show them the side of my shoe. All right, that's probably not the nicest way to greet your friend, but fuck it, it's what I'm gonna do anyway. And especially if your friend's name is Reem, even better, just show them the other side of the shoe. For all you relatively new sneakerheads and hype beasts, if you're the type of dude that's collecting like Ultra Boost and NMDs, this is probably not gonna be on your radar. This style probably doesn't appeal to you because this is literally nothing like an Ultra Boost. It's nothing like those shoes. It's not chunky. I mean, it's not sleek. It's not a runner's shoe. In fact, it was made as a basketball shoe, but it's now more of a style or casual shoe because technology for basketball shoes has really advanced. And if you're wearing these for basketball, you're truly doing yourself a disservice. It is a casual and style heavy shoe, but yeah, it's nothing like those silhouettes. It's not sleek, it's not minimalist. It's very loud and it's out there. And the reason why I like it so much is because growing up, graffiti was the real cool thing. Like it was always cool to see graffiti. You'd always be intrigued by the fact that just, that there was this mural of just art on a wall, which was so unconventional because you're obviously not allowed to paint murals on walls without any sort of permission. And to me, this whole thing is sort of a callback to that era, this whole blocky, text and even if you look at the bottom here 
It kind of looks like a graffiti artist painted this and the paint is dripping down. I mean, I'm not sure if that was intentional from the designers or whatever, but that's what it looks like to me. And it's sort of a callback to that time when I was younger. And I think that's really cool. They're just really nice to me. I like this bulky look. And the whole 3M in here is a huge plus. If you want to see more details and a more in-depth review of these shoes, go check it out. It's on my channel. I'll link it in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into the next pickup. It is an Adidas shoe. You can see here, it's Adidas and Alexander Wang. It is the Alexander Wang B-Ball collab. Finally got these shoes. I wanted these so bad when they came out, but it was on the same day as the Haven release and I waited in line for the Haven Ultra Boost at Haven. By the time I got home, I was pooped and I missed out on all the online drops for this shoe. Fortunately for me, Essence, you see over here, this store right here, for those that didn't know, it's pronounced Essence. It's not Sense. I know it just says sense because it's two S's. They restocked one pair in a size nine. My true size is a size 10. And I was kind of looking to size swap for a size nine and a half, but I really can't find these anywhere locally, which is crazy. Clearly the people who want these really want these. They did sell out pretty fast. And even though they're not reselling, but at least the people who wanted them actually want them and actually want to wear them. Signature Adidas Wang box. The box is actually on the inside. Got the little tray foils on the inside, the little blue with the white stripes and the shoe came with i always love when brands put extra thought into the packaging like the whole design i mean okay to be honest i didn't really need that tissue paper but it's always cool when they put the effort in you get cool little trinkets like this like come on i have a whole extra gym sack for no reason whatsoever just because i bought a pair of shoes i mean i know it's probably supposed to be a dust bag for the shoes but really i'm not going to use it for that i'm probably going to use it for the gym or for something to just like when i go on a small little trip to put a bunch of things in and take it with me like a little backpack and i've bought two alexander wang shoes so i have two of these which is really awesome i can't express to you guys how much i use bags like these all the time so you guys are making my day with these onto the shoe here we have them it is the wang ball shoes i've already worn these a couple times i'm gonna do an on foot review for you guys i haven't got to it yet because i've been sick and i've had a couple responsibilities to deal with but that's coming up for you soon guys i heard they fit half a size down so i was looking for a nine and a half even though i'm a size 10 true to size and what's crazy is these are a size nine and somehow they happen to fit me they're a very snug fit like i took the insoles out with some socks i can actually wear them with the insole in but i took the insoles out i would definitely prefer to go for a nine and have just so I can wear them with the insoles in at all times because it is at that point where if my feet could get fatter they will probably not fit just because you can feel the sides hugging onto my feet and it's kind of difficult to put them on but aside from that they're really clean probably my favorite boost silhouette the materials are premium as f we'll get into that in the review here's just a quick look at them y'all know I'm a fan of what Adidas and Alexander Wang have been doing and when I saw Wang and balls in the same title you know I had to cop what? Anyways, on to my last latest pickup. It is this guy right here. Yes, it's not sneaker related, but it's kind of cool. It is a Jackery power bank. I used to have a bigger one, but I went to a concert and lost it. And that's a story for another day, but I got me a little smaller version. This one has 12,000 milliamps per hour. And if you don't know what kind of measurement that is for batteries, that's at least like three charges on average for a decent sized device. Like my phone probably gets more than three charges out of this. And I have a Note, Samsung Note 4, which has a pretty big battery. But my phone is like four or five years old and to be honest I can't go a day without using this let's actually get it out of the box so here it is ladies and gentlemen it's got the full three charges I cannot go a day without using this if I'm not at home and it's so convenient because instead of worrying and looking for a power outlet I can literally just keep my phone plugged into this and it lasts the entire day I don't have to worry about one looking for a power outlet in a wall somewhere and two being stuck at where the power outlet is I can literally just use this and walk around I mean it might it might be a little chunky but it's really easy to carry around with you if you don't have super tight pockets you can pull it off if you have like a hood or if you even carry like a purse or a bag or a messenger bag bag with you just plug it in plug this bad boy in plug your phone in and just put it in your pocket and you're good to go it has two usb outlets so if you have a bat phone as well you can plug both of them in or you know the side phone whatever you want to call it the one that you talk to your friends on the one that you trap with and i don't know why they do this but they do include a flashlight so if you do lose something and it's on the floor you just you know just turn this guy on and like find that bad boy either way super useful the only reason it's not plugged into my phone right now is because i'm using it to record right now but usually it's just like one of these 
leaves, just pop it in and I'll just hold on to it like so. Or I'll just have this in my pocket. I'm using my phone. I'll just pull it out like this. It's, it's really very convenient. It's obviously not as convenient as just holding your phone, but it's really cool. Not very sneaker related, but I'll leave the link to this in the description below. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. That's it for today, guys. That's my latest pickups. If you got anything from the video, please hit that like button. I think these sneakers are really cool. It's so convenient that I got two of my bulkiest sneakers around the same time, but I really like both of them. Let me know what you guys think and please subscribe for more juicy content. Share with your friends. Let them know Pix does the dopest on-foot reviews. And until next time, catch you later. Pixelated out.